story. Aaron, we now know that according to California Highway Patrol, the driver admitted to smoking marijuana on top of taking prescription painkillers while driving, which officers say played a major role in this accident that cost a young man his life today. If you can't focus and it takes longer to react, that's a deadly combination. And unfortunately, that's what happened. Yeah, today. CHP says 19 year old UC Santa Cruz student Linnea Hernandez was driving southbound on Highway 1 in this SUV with six friends heading to Big Sur. Just after noon, Hernandez says she rolled down her window to throw out her cigarette and then veered into oncoming traffic, smashing into this Mazda. We had a driver who was high and also taking prescription, medic uh, prescription medication, which affected her driving as she ends up. Uh, colliding with another vehicle and unfortunately somebody lost their life. CHP says the victim is a 24 year old man from Prunedale. In the car that hit him, four UC Santa Cruz students and three others visiting from Colorado. Officers say that six of the seven young women in the car, including the driver, admitted to smoking marijuana. People uh, think it's okay to smoke and drive and it's really not. Marijuana is uh, it's actually quite dangerous to drive with. So not only does it slow down your reaction time, so it takes you longer to react to things, but it also uh, impedes your ability to uh, focus. CHP says one passenger, 19 year old Sarah Cameron, hid a makeup bag full of marijuana and ecstasy in a nearby field before authorities arrived. The amount of drugs, the weed they had, uh, and ecstasy, uh, it wasn't just enough for one person, it was enough for a few individuals. Officers say this crash is a sobering reminder that any substance, not just alcohol, can cause deadly accidents. And unfortunately, a tragedy like this could be 100% uh, preventable if you just don't do drugs and drive. Now tonight, the driver is facing charges of DUI and possibly vehicular manslaughter, and the passenger accused of hiding drugs could be charged for concealing evidence. Aaron. Friend, thank you. Once the driver is released from the hospital, she will be booked into the Monterey County Jail. In addition to the driver, four of the other passengers are being treated at Natividad Medical Center. Two others have been transported to a San Jose Trauma Center because of the severity of their injuries.